Um, so we're here with uh, some of my favorite people in the entire world that I've known for, uh, I think, honestly, forever. Um, Luke and Ronnie from Falling in Reverse. Yeah. Is his mic on? Yeah. All right. 2006. Really? Yeah. You know, Bobby always tells a story about, like, when you guys came over at Warp Tour and, like, just saw us playing on, like, the, the stage this big. And, and I feel like that has... I was Did you you guys used to uh, put it to get, didn't people have to put it together or something like that yeah. or was that a different one Yeah it was every morning there would be like a crew of like there was like four dudes putting yeah. together this this stage every morning it wasn't on the bubble it was nothing it was like this random stage um, it was called the East Coast Independent Stage. I remember. Yep. And yeah. we would be playing, and like, no one would be watching us. And I remember one day you walked over, and I was like, oh, my God, fuck. I was like, shit. I was like, don't fuck up. And, of course, we just fucked up every day, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. yeah. We were that terrible. was a while ago, man. Yeah. Think about that. How yeah. many years is that? How, does anyone know math? <laughs> Fucking uh, math. Six, no, I don't know. 16? <laughs> Wait. 10, wow. Yeah, 16 years. Bro. 16 years ago? Yeah. Man, we're old. 2006. You guys have been doing yeah. this for a while, but yeah. it's just so cool to see the trajectory of the band just mm -hmm. going up and up and up. And congratulations on their thank upcoming you. album, Neon yeah, Zombie. Thank you. That's going to be out later on this year, right? <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah. We got applause. Ronnie, yeah. The crowd loves it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is crazy to see like how you guys, uh, you. I mean, you've always been a, a giant band. And I feel like... It's it's when you think you're gonna get you're already giant, you just get bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger, and it makes me super happy because our style of music is always such an underdog. It's true, such an underdog because right. no one no one gives a fuck. They don't yeah. understand it. They're like, and and I feel like you have finally crossed that line. And feels it's, it, feels it, cool. Yeah, it's still got a ways wild. to go. I I feel like I got a ways to go though. You're you know, on but. the first line of a major festival. And, and a headlining line. Still got a ways to go, man. Yeah, hey, I like that. I like but, that's um, a good attitude um, right there. Yeah. You're right, dude. The, our kind of bands did not, were not on the radio, and they weren't number one on the radio either. No. So it's it's cool to, to get a song on that went number one. And then Zombified right after goes number one. Now I was like, <laughs> oh, I man. It, it felt like we were in an, an alternate <laughs> reality for a while. It was like the top stream song Ever? weeks and weeks <laughs> and weeks ever? in a row, man. I so get all sick. the reports from your record label, and they're always sending stuff in. By, you know. by the way, he's like the nicest dude. Oh, yes. Ronnie, come on now, dude. You are. It's got, true. I was, tell, I was telling my girlfriend, like, you have such a good vibe when we were doing interviews on Zoom. Yeah, man. Great vibe. Well, thank always. you, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm a fan of the music, and I love supporting bands that are kicking ass and doing cool shit. And I love it that you guys are representing a heavy side of things, but also bringing a different fan base. Yeah. to the music and wow. you know, yeah. they get into falling in reverse and then next thing they know you know they're slaughtering animals listening to the fucking Slayer you know what I'm saying so I see the projection is that I see you guys as a gateway to our music and that's a beautiful yeah. thing that you I are I never thought about it like that Ronnie that's, that's true you guys are yeah. totally a fucking gateway drug I mean there's a lot of people that are getting into your music for years since they were little kids and they grow up to get into heavier shit yeah. and maybe even be in bands themselves dude so it's a really cool yeah. thing and Falling In Reverse is that is that premier band yeah. that's helping to do that so we were I did uh Escape the fate yep. and situations, yep. and I was like, "Dang, this is huge!" To me, that yeah. was huge. You know, had like 40 million views or something. I was like, "Man, this is the yeah. pinnacle." And then I did Drug and Me Is You. And I was like, "Man, can't get any bigger than this." But I, there's, I'm such a small person in this big world. I didn't yeah. realize. I was like, "Wait a minute, it can get bigger, and it can get bigger, and it can get bigger." You know, yeah. so the sky's the limit. So but I love it. But you have that stay humble, stay hungry, be the hardest worker in the room approach too. Uh, yeah, I've been through some things, and I've learned my lesson on some things for yeah. sure. I think that's you know. when you get to that level of like you understand each move, each step is so intelligently made. And I even like I, you know having Luke in your band is like. Uh, that's why I brought him here today. There's, yeah. there, there's, welcome, there's, welcome to the, there's, to the there's, platform. There's brother. not thank too you, many drummers you. that can even hold a stick to Luke. To be honest, like he's one of the best drummers that's uh, has become in our scene at all times. I had thank to. I you, had man. to. It, 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 people don't. People know, but they don't know. They don't know they what don't it takes. Know, yeah. It's just the smallest little details that people don't see yep. that make him so good. Yep. That's the. That's the. That's it, where y'all gassing yeah. me up, man. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it, though, for I, real. I mean, for your, real. Band, Thank you. your band as a band is such a good band, and I think that's why why it's like, that's why it, in live it, it's so perfect. And watching, I think at this point over the last couple of years, it's funny because like we were always influenced by these bands that were headlining festivals. I think that these bands that were headlining festivals are now influenced by by you, you guys. Right. Trying to keep weird. up too, in a to, lot of ways. Trying to like re reignite a, a fire that they lost years ago. And now they're seeing like, oh, this is this is the curve, like this is it. And so it's like crazy seeing like I'm 
now I'm, I'm ready to see Metallica next year doing like a rap part on one of their songs. You know Holy I mean? hell. Oh, that's, man. That's, that's, that'd that'd be crazy. Well, dude, actually, Metallica has done stuff. Uh, they did a collaboration with Ja Rule one time. Really? A long time ago. Yeah, know. it's pretty I don't like damn. the sound of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, to, and to be honest, Ronnie, it wasn't that good. <laughs> and it sucks because I have a Metallica tattoo and I fucking love them. I love and, Metallica, oh, dude. Oh, dude, they're the best. I mean, who was the band that got you to fucking be into this music? You, you know, uh, Eminem, or in this music? Yeah. In Just heavy, in music in general? Well, yeah, in music in general and in the heavy side of things. Uh, Thrice. Fair. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, Illusion of Safety album. Nice. Uh, Under Oath. Uh, Poison the Well. Oh, I love Poison you know, the Well. Oh, yeah. shit, dude. You know, yeah. like, and then they went Deftones, and then I stopped listening to them, but I still love Poison the Well. You know, yeah, but, I um, love them. Do you, my fa- what's your favorite Poison the Well album? Uh, I can't even tell you. The, the, before... You said December Underground. Yeah. No, wait. Fuck. That's AFI, opposite, bro. Opposite, no, no. What is that? Opposite you of December. better know yeah. your shit, uh, brother. You, you <laughs> come before what? December. You come before you is my favorite. December. Just hey, opposite of December. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You come but, uh, before AFI, you is my favorite. I love fucking Poison the Well. I love Poison the Well, and I want them to be mad. It was the album with, with what song? Like the, that had like the biology on it. And the I heart? Did it. I didn't like that. Oh, you didn't? Oh, you? That was, <laughs> like, that's my favorite one, brother. That's the one where they're like, You come before you. Wait, wait. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if we're talking about the same album now. <laughs> Maybe I'm fucking, I don't know, dude. But I love that stuff. So what about you, Luke? What got you into wanting to get behind the drum kit and play in this heavy music scene? Yeah, I think uh, there's, there's always like four bands that I reference. There's like Slipknot, As I Lay Dying, Under Oath, and System of a Down. Like oh, when I was like good. 11, yeah. 12 years old. And now, you know, kind of associate myself with a lot of those acts pretty frequently. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm like, kind of piggybacking off that earlier like i wouldn't have you know i'll be honest i was in a band called the word alive for a while oh, i know the yeah. word alive and, yeah we and, played uh, you guys me and Teller yeah playing. it was good yeah. good times i did that for like five years yeah. and after i quit there was a lot of bands that were in that vein that reached out to me to join and i said no for a long time no 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 and it was you're the first person to get me to say yes just because it was like i don't know there there was like a solid promised projection the music was fucking awesome yeah the vibes we, are good and like you give me a lot of like creative freedom too which is really fun yeah but, he uh i kept asking him and the times weren't right he's like i can't i can't yeah. i can't i think i just was planting a seed yeah he's just too good dude we have to i can't if you're, if, if you're i can't the be best, dealing, you gotta have the best well yeah. i was right, I gotta, you know i was playing for like different rappers at the time like when, when we first started and then i actually ended up doing uh what was that losing my life or losing my mind? I did drums on that. Like yeah. that's how we met in yep. person for the first yeah. time. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that Luke did the drums, live drums on losing my life. If there's yep. any fans in of that yep. song in, in the in the thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> there they are. The crowd. That's all. Of them. There's, there's there's all I the can't fans. control them. Yeah. Hey, is that, that Jake? I forgot Jake's here. <laughs> yeah. He's been so up, quiet Jake? all day, and it's driving me nuts. I, you know, I'm usually loud, but I'm just like taking us, letting things breathe. He's trying to let Trey take over, and <laughs> Trey's like a church mouse. It's, it's crazy. It's oh. funny. But hey, no, I mean, go ahead, go ahead, Ronnie, okay. tell me about your book too that you worked with Ryan on, right? Downey, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Ryan, I love Ryan Down. He's a great yeah. friend and stuff. And and how has that been? How is, have have you feel? You know, putting That's a challenging. book out. Yeah, it's challenging to write a book because the book. Um, it takes a lot out of you because you got to like when they they interview you a lot you got to like say things you've already talked about in therapy and yeah it's just it's just hard and he goes and talks to my dad and he goes and talks to all these different people so it's like you know you gotta you know say some stuff yeah. that you don't want to talk yeah. about yeah. but stuff it's for put, the better though because you put to the past yeah, yeah. That but that's sense. also what the kind of stuff that your fans would expect to have in a book too is the kind of shit that you know that comes out that's that real private personal kind of shit dude i think that's fucking a cool thing. oh yeah. yeah there's some there's some stuff in there yeah, i know <laughs> i know dude but that's cool that you did that man so yeah. yeah congratulations on that yeah and all the cool stuff ronnie that's and happening. the name of the book is i can explain and it's like yeah. seriously perfect for yeah. for my for you know but. who came up with that title me yeah nice <laughs> like, i can yeah. explain is that was that the yeah. whole time the whole time you knew whole, what it was called yes was that did you have the title first and then then the idea yes all right yeah because um you know I've gotten into a little trouble uh, on the internet and off the internet. Wait, so. no, you have? Yeah. Weird. I never would have. I never would have thought. Just Google. Yeah. Google is yeah. is Google is a lot of people's friends, but not my friend. Fair. I just I just. I'm Ronnie. serious. Google Ronnie. is not my friend. You Ronnie, Google my I name, just, it's like. I just love. I just, oh my god. I just love the way you you use social media. 
Yeah. Like, it is. I love it. Yeah. yeah you got to fight back. You got, like, you yeah, got, I to. You I got think, to. I think it's I love it so much because I'm like, oh, my God, yes. You call people out on their bullshit. Yeah. You know? It's it like, makes, what, like, you have to. Because have to. I'm a pussy, and I will never. Don't. So, don't I, when you say stuff I know, out I know. loud too long, you become a, <laughs> that, the, a pussy. I am, yeah. Manifestation. I'm like, I'm like, or oh, something. Man, I wish I could have said that. I, oh, my God. I'm like, fuck, of course. It's the truth. I mean, you speak the truth. It's not like you're, like, yeah. bullshitting. I mean, it's true. I mean, you've lived it and, and done it. So it's like you have the you, you you have the platform to say whoever the fuck you want. And you should. I think that's a, like on this channel, like, we have zero, um, which I'm very filter. grateful for, for Twitch. We have zero filter. And Good. Some, sometimes Jake yells at me or yells at us, and it's it. But it's like I love that. That's I love how it has to, to be. Yeah. I won't. I won't say anything too crazy on here. I'll save that for Twitter. Your or next book. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I just you know the way that the world's going. I feel like uh, honestly the the internet ruined the world. Yeah. Yeah. And people are like, well, there's some good things, but like, yeah, as a whole, man, everybody is just way too complacent and safe with saying whatever they want. And words can hurt people, yeah. you know, and, and I understand that. And sometimes you just got to defend yourself. Well, you're, there's you're, a lot of stuff you're, that you're, people... you're a fucking person, too. Yeah. And, like, they think their shit doesn't hurt. You see it. Like, we see it all. Like, yeah. they, they think we don't see it and, like, stuff like that. It's like, it fucking hurts. It takes a toll. You, I mean, it really does hurt. And I, th like, I think, uh, not anymore. It, I mean, it's been years. Yeah, it's fair. like, oh, okay. You learn how to. I'm a POS. Uh, oh. A good one. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> but no, I think now it's a time to stand up. I feel like people need to stand up for themselves yeah. more. People are so scared. Why are you so scared? Who are you, you scared from for from this dude named Fred in Kansas that's 16 years old? Yeah. You're scared? Jake's afraid of him. He probably has an, an he has an anime profile pic and you're scared that he's going to cancel you and get you fired from your job, man. Yeah. Can I cuss on here? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy, man. I'm serious. Fuck it's you. I know, I, Fred, I, I, fuck you. Fuck. There's someone that's in Fred from that town being like, oh, <laughs> yeah. God damn it. No, but I mean, I, I do love seeing you on these festivals, you know, and it, it's especially like full circle. You know, I wish Bobby was here, but he's uh, it's jerking off somewhere. Who knows? Um, Classic. Yeah, but he's like to, to see. He's like, what? <laughs> um, but it's probably true, honestly, Jake. Um, but it's to see you and, and, and me and Bobby and you're basically headlining the Space Zebra stage, which is something that me and Bobby, it's like. Full circle on it. If we're not headlining it. It's the same thing. You're basically you're, no. I won't accept that. All right, you're. Oh, we're not Venice even. Now. We're like main support ish to the. You know. It's one, two, three. I, yeah, it's breaking. Right, yeah, we're headlining. I'll so say we're headlining. There's yes. next I, year. I will you know, say. Like I said, there's always room. So it's yeah. happening. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, Ronnie is like falling in reverse. Will be headlining this. Of course. I, I'm thinking next year. I'm saying next falling year. Falling in reverse yeah. is headlining this festival. Yeah. No. Ronnie, no. I'm, I, I'm putting bro, it to fruition. I'm telling you right Make now, I know my shit, bro. It'll be main support next year. It'll be the next line over. And then okay. the next and year, crawl. maybe a crawl. That's if good. I don't do something to go get yeah. in trouble, so <laughs> I think that well, that actually probably it's boiling, it. yeah, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's getting there, man. Um, but no, put see, it into music, man. That's what you do best, man. Yeah, put it into great. music. That's you know, what you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, Bobby talks about it all the time about like seeing the growth of like being in a van, sleeping in a van, and now yeah, I slept. Me and Bobby slept in a van together. Yeah, and I broke the window out to get drugs that were in the hot sun, and we had to put a a piece of wood over it to keep going yeah. because. <laughs> The wind would have just came in. This is so long ago, man. And I mean that, yeah. yeah, for him to go from that to where he is now too is crazy. Yeah, yeah. it blows my mind. Just is. to see everyone doing so well and, and doing crazy. such great things coming from yeah. like, you know, playing a, uh, in, in in small tiny clubs and in rooms to being like, you know, partnering with DWP or like manifesting you know, high, good shit. Yeah, is what it, you guys are doing, yeah, man. Dude. That's what and you got to do. And and watching DWP take those chances on all these bands is amazing. Yeah, man, I can't believe it. Like, we'll see what Voices in My Head does today. You guys I think, think Voice in My Head is going to go yeah, off today? Yeah, of course they will, yeah, dude. I mean, dude, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something else. I'm you think so? You. I People think it's going to be something so else. Stoked. If it's not, you have to go off no matter I'll, what. I'll, I'll, I'll freak. Yeah. I'll crowd freak. surf. I have, if you want me to, I will. Crowd, we, sur crowd surf the entire time we're playing. Don't ever get down. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably possible. I'm a large it's, boy, okay? Um, we went out and did a, we we went out to the uh to the to the barricade and we were like interviewing uh, people that that ran you know people run up and they go right to the barricade, eight out of ten of them were here to see falling you falling in reverse yep like they were like falling in reverse and I was like why and they're like I love everything about what they're doing and they're they're, they're like you you make a home for people yep yeah and that's what I love about about falling in reverse is you make a, ho a You're home so for that's people. so sweet to hear that yeah especially from you because I've known you for sixteen. Fuck, fucking years, right? I yeah, said fuck, yeah, fucking yeah. years. Can I get a crowd chant? Yep, there yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. That's, 
Yeah. It's a weird one. Yeah. It sounds like the same people. They're all probably <laughs> doing the same thing. Yeah. Holy. Too much? Sorry. No, it's good. It's okay. all right. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, dude, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on stage tonight and beyond and stuff. And again, congratulations on all the stuff, man. You guys are one of our top bands, number one, constantly on Octane. Thank so, you. Yeah, hey, you're, you thank back, you, dude. bro. Yeah. For real. Thank you. Dude, come on, Rodney, dude. He's like, I, I, I love, I, I also hate how he just like, no, no. He's like, the if it doesn't go to him, it goes nowhere. And I feel like he doesn't understand that. He's like the... The pinnacle of our, our of our of our music, and he's like, no, it's okay. Same thing uh, with Pinfield. I don't know where the hell he's so, at. I was just, I was telling, I'm telling you, you're so, you got a good energy, bro. It's for super, real, yeah. I'm, it's special. I'm so fucking blessed to be doing this shit, dude. You I do too, but I've known it. you 16 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I've known you for so long, you know. <laughs> count, yeah. You I, live in a church with a bunch of severed limbs dead, and dead stuff, dead right? Things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's wrong with dead things? Yeah. 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 Nothing, and then I sell, you know, I sell Do you right still now. live yeah. in the church? No, it's my warehouse now. Okay. I bought another house. But I was like, Your warehouse. Much. What are you doing there, man? I there's honestly right Raise now. Raise werewolves, man. <laughs> the warehouse, man. It's all it's all of like my I because I, I'm a hoarder. So <laughs> all of my shit is just in there. It's just like stuff on stuff on stuff. Like mm-hmm. I have I just bought an entire haunted house for no reason. Like all the walls, all the animatronics, so I just like I go. Oh my now god. Now they, they're in there, so you know, I'm a psycho. You have animatronics? Like yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Seeker of the Use animatronics? I, yeah, I, it's, I have a 16 <laughs> foot thing, it's called the Wendigo, and it's a giant animatronic, 16 feet tall, and it like goes like this, and I like, grab and it has like That's really cool. Is I want to see long, this. Yes. Is it a year long round or just for Halloween? I, I, I just bought it. I don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> Sitting in my church. Crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm out of my mind. And there's like That's 16 sick. caskets in there, I have a half pipe in there. <laughs> bunch of dead stuff much like weird victorian furniture so you know it's some, a, some it, fucking it's, mummies it's, it's the, you know the usual <laughs> shit but no i mean i, I don't know where to go with i that. don't know <laughs> <laughs> um but no i mean i seeing you on these festivals makes me so happy because again you know you see you see the trajectory and i i, I you know we always wholeheartedly we always talk about bands that are that are on festivals and things like that and, and just you being a part of the dwp family because you know we like to confirm our bands on our festivals um, which is, uh, which is really nice. Um, it's true. He's giggling. <laughs> what are you giggling? <laughs> no, think, no, I'm just. Hey. I think he's joking because I said that we confirm our bands that we put on our ad mats. Oh, I know what you're talking um, about. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh! Yeah. Did that go over your head? Oh, I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. I don't want. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk I, about I, that. I, yeah. I slipped it in. It was it was right over. But no, I think I think yeah, you, that's... you have a you have a very bright bright future, which is crazy because you've had the brightest career in, in in I think all of our histories I had some dark times man and and, and some good times you yeah. know it's you know but you make people like like with the world I came from super proud and I, I think that's I love so, it so sweet much. bro and I, think I you make a home for for people and like us and things like that you need Sorry, you know what you need you need like p- more positivity in this world this makes me feel good man you get on the internet and you see such negative stuff all yeah. the time yep. man so I love hearing this and people think that people like us don't need to hear it because they think we hear it all the time. We yeah. need to hear it so the most. Yeah. For real. Well, we, we got get, your back, guys. Well, thank you. We're Fuck people. Yeah. And that's the, really yeah. what it comes down to. So it. thank you. you know, Seriously. We all, we all want to be loved. Self-care. We can talk about Bobby all the time. Fucking, He preaches self-care. We, Fuck yeah, we do, man. That's what we do here. Positivity. Hey, I got to run, dudes, real quick. I, where are you going now? I, I have a... Uh, well, yeah, we're wrapping I, up. Just yeah, I have, a, I have a, a... I'm going to do a hangout with some uh, fans at the Revolver Tent right now. All so, right. But yeah, but I'm going to... We're out of here, too. No, 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 we hey, appreciate dude, guys. Dude, fuck we it, can't dude. Wait to Thanks see for if, coming. Luke, well, I, thank I, you, I, Jake, coming out, yeah. your song has... If that doesn't go off, Jake is crowd surfing the entire time. So it's in my head. Voice in my head. Just know... If it doesn't... If it doesn't go off... No, no, no. You have to crowd surf from the beginning, even when the intro is playing. Jake. But we have to see justify if it's going to go off or not. But how do I get to the crowd surfing if I'm in the barricade? How do I like reverse? Crowd? I'm just joking, bro. Don't do that. You got you got <laughs> I've you got tomorrow. It. You got to do this up his producer fingers or You got to do this shit tomorrow and yeah. does, just don't do it. Don't do it. I'll Jake. be there jamming though. You okay. know. Okay. Yeah, we'll All right. be there. Fuck but yeah, thank guys. you. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys.